Hello and welcome to Monk's Workshop. On this first video I'm gonna be making the Nordic Dagger from Skyrim. I made this out of uh, some wood, thermoplastic, some fabric from a purse, a little bit of fake fur, and hard work. Yo, here we go. So, let's get going. Go <laughs> Hey, now we got uh, the blade cut out. I'm going to sand it uh, using a Dremel tool. Uh, also on the edges, I'm going to be using some uh, rough sandpaper. Uh, I think this is, uh, I don't know what it is actually, P120. And then for finishing off, I'm going to be using P1200. Uh, yeah, let's get going. We take you to the Hotel Martinet in Brooklyn, where Bobby Millet and his orchestra are offering a program of dance music.
thermal plastic to make the, the details uh, on this uh, dagger. Uh, I'm gonna be using uh, thermal plastic. Uh, I just got it the other day. Never used it before. Uh, have watched some uh, tutorials on how to use it. Uh, basically, just soak it in water, and it becomes uh, moldable. Uh, so I'm just gonna get some of that in this hot water and see what we can mold with it. There we have it. Uh, the thermoplastic is moldable. Uh, I've used a uh, water heater like this, so uh, actually used boiling water to to make this moldable. So it's pretty hot, but. Um, you can just let it cool down. It's not gonna sit for like yeah, a little while. Then I'm gonna just gonna apply a thick layer to the dagger. I hope this works. Alright, so I'm gonna have the right fucking time trying to get this off. Just take off the excess. And then just try to mold it as best that I can. second draft I've uh, used uh, a magic marker instead of a pencil to mark my lines so I, I can I can actually see where the thermal plastic is gonna go um, and I think this one is actually looking pretty good you can see uh, I've used the metal tool um, to shape it in place uh, I had to use uh, the heat gun a couple of times just to reheat uh, to get uh, the parts right. Uh, I removed a lot of material because of course in this take two I used too much. So, but the final product I think is gonna work. And when it uh, stiffens I'm going, going to uh, use the Dremel tool to kinda give it, give it its final touches and yeah that's basically it now that we got the the piece of uh, thermoplastic shape to the shape we want we have to do the increase uh, in as you can see it here uh, the increase in uh, in this piece so what I've done is uh, cut out the increase in uh, this uh, template and uh, what I'm gonna do is just use the Dremel tool to remove some of this uh, thermoplastic uh, and then heat it up and then uh, smooth it out. So, let's get going. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, monkey tamer and thrill seeker. I uncovered the gates of hell, I destroyed an Australian land developer and his ultimate insult, discovered the world's only talking monkey, and all before the age of 22. circle uh, this under the detail uh, and cut out these small pieces that goes into this uh, this hand guard I guess it is um, so what I'm gonna do now is heat this piece up uh, drop that in try to place it as well as I can and heat that one too so it uh, melts together so let's do that. Yeah, uh, on this circle I just used the same technique as uh, as with this. Uh, just heated up the plastic, wrapped it around, uh, used this to make the general shape, 
uh, and then just reheated it until uh, I was satisfied and uh, that's about it. So yeah, let's get to heating. When you get the, you got it melted enough, you just use a knife or just a piece of metal to just to make sure that it sits, and then just let it cool off. And we'll do the same on the other side. I'm using the freezer uh, to cool it off. Uh, it actually does not uh, crack or anything, so freezer is good. Uh, you can also just let it sit but then it takes, takes a little while to uh, to cool down and I am impatient. Impatient. So here we go. Now uh, we're finished with uh, the detailing. Uh, I wrapped this uh, end uh, in the thermal plastic also uh, just to give it a bit of shape. You can see in the drawing here, it has kind of a dome shape with some uh, with some markings. I tried to use to do the markings, but I think I'm just gonna do that with uh, a little bit of black paint and maybe maybe I'm gonna go in with a knife, but I'm not quite sure yet. But yeah, there we got it. So now all we gotta do is paint it. I think I'm gonna be using. Uh, Spray paint, just silver spray paint, uh, and then I'm gonna do the detailing um, with some uh, black paint later. So yeah, let's get going. Now, uh, I'm gonna do this uh, inside because I live in Norway, so outside in December it's about, I think it's minus five or something and the paint doesn't really dry out there so I'm gonna do this inside just cover up the surface yeah, let's just let that dry We'll come back in 15 min minutes and spray again. And then do, just do that three or four times. And then I think it will be a, quite a nice finish. So yeah. Now, uh, we're finished painting it. Uh, it actually turned out pretty fine. Uh, now I'm gonna do the middle piece here. What I'm gonna do is trace it on to some paper, cut it out, and uh, cut that out of some wood that is thinner than this. About, I don't know, I think two millimeters or something th thinner than this. Yeah, that will work on it. I think so, yeah. So, let's do it. Now, uh, this doesn't go all the way in, so I have to use something thinner, but I'm not quite sure. 
What? Hmm. Hold on. Now, uh, I've had another rethink. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually spray it one more time uh, over a piece of paper. And where that leaves a mark, I'm gonna cut out. So, that's it. There we go. Let's see how that worked out. Now I have cut out the piece of wood and uh, sanded it down so it's smooth and nice. And uh, now I'm going to make it fit in here. Uh, I didn't quite make it fit, so um, I'm going to use the Dremel uh, now to make it as accurate as possible and as, as smooth as possible I've mounted the Dremel to the to the desk uh, and lined it up so when I when I uh, run it along it will take off exactly what I need so yeah let's go quite snugly. Now the ends of this I'm gonna actually gonna fill with I think I'm gonna fill it with uh, with some glue so it becomes flush against the, the other part. But first paint it. While I'm uh, painting the centerpiece uh, that we're gonna go in here uh, I'm going to cut out uh, the detail of uh, this piece that I'm gonna do from this just gonna trace that on here this is thermoplastic that I've uh, flattened into a sheet so you can see it's about yeah, that thick <laughs> uh, what I'm gonna do is cut out this uh, lay it on that and yeah basically just draw around it and cut it out and when the centerpiece is uh, finished uh, drying from the paint uh, we're gonna put it in and we're gonna blast it with the heat gun so it melts upon the centerpiece at least that's the idea we'll see how it goes so yeah Let's keep going. There we go. Then I'm going to trace that on to onto this. Thank you. 
awesome. There we go! It looks awesome! Now, I've painted the centerpiece with the spray paint. Uh, so, if we take this, let's see, it fits perfectly in there. Looks awesome. So, yeah. Let's just keep this there because that paint is not dry yet. And we're gonna put these details on it. I'm going to put this in the freezer now and then I'm going to do the other side. Then the f finishing touches are uh, ready. So, as you can see, the thermal plastic is actually quite fitting on, on it. It doesn't fall off, so let me place it in. Of course, I'm going to paint it silver before I glue this in. But as first look on it, looks pretty fucking amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna paint the handle brown because uh, I'm going to wrap it in, uh, I don't know what actually, but some uh, leather or uh, or something uh, but I like to have uh, the base brown because if the leather should uh, should move uh, I like it to be the same color not silver because that stands out like a sore thumb so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the darkest brown hobby paint I have and just paint touch it And there we go. Now you can see, no more silver. Now, uh, I've finished painting the centerpiece. Uh, now I'm gonna glue it in. And to do this, I think I'm gonna use uh, the thermoplastic. Uh, roll it into a thin uh, snake and just push it down the edge so it yeah tightens the uh, it fits in the holes so yeah now uh, my first idea was pretty crappy uh, the thermal plastic didn't work because when you get the thermal plastic in uh, it'll uh, it hardens uh, way too fast so what I'm going to do instead is use the paper clay. Now this you can work with uh, for basically hours. Just add a little bit of water and you can uh, mold it to basically what you want. Uh, now you can see the paper clay is going to stick to the wood. So uh, what I'm going to do is go over and uh, brush it down and then just apply a little bit of paint. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just finish that. Now, the paper clay on the Nordic Dagger has uh, dried, so what we're going to do now is paint the paper clay, because it has to be black.
My god, I'm getting black. Which is not really a surprise. Think about it. Oh no! Is that a racist? No. Uh, then we're gonna select a brush. This has to be a fine brush, which will stick together and not uh, like fuck up anything. So we're gonna use this. Yo, here we go. And then we're gonna start. Uh, you can go ahead and start. Mm -hmm. start, start, start. Nice, looks nice, looks nice. And while we have the paint here, we can just do the little uh, triangle in the in the hand guard. Need to be just as careful here. There we have the first take on the detail and then just do the other side too and then we're gonna come back to it after it's totally dry and then do it again oh fuck that was too much there we go now on the finishing touches of the details on the Nordic dagger uh, there's just some some small flecks of uh, silver left uh, what I'm gonna do is to make it as accurate as possible, use a magic marker. But yeah, there we go. Now, for the handle, I'm going to be using the this material that I cut up and uh, glued together earlier, and I'm going to be using. Let me see. As you can see here uh, on the reference photo, uh, it has a bit of um, of uh, fur on the edge, on the end, I mean. Uh, and to simulate this, I went out to my local thrift shop and bought some yeah fake fur. I think this is for like. Mm. Mm. And uh, it's supposed to uh, imitate, I don't know, foxes, the foxes' tailors, I don't know, something like that. Now, what I'm going to do is just take off the material on the back, like so, so that I have some material to work with. And I'm going to cut out a square. With my no, it's I'm gonna do the roller because that is more accurate. So yeah, there we have the little sleeve. I'm just gonna put that down there. over that yeah I think we can do that well we wait uh, we can cover up the rest of the blade because we're gonna use the spray glue again don't want this on anything else.
you come to the fur, just make sure the fur is in the right, yeah, it's pointing the right way and just roll over it. And I think I'm gonna stop it there. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. There we go. I think I'm actually gonna use uh, some uh, nails. Just to make it stick. These are like round edges, so it looks kind of old fashioned. And I'm gonna beat them so it looks worn. Yeah. Where is my hammer? There we go. There we go. There we have it. The hilt with the fur. What do you guys think? Oh, that's what you think, huh? Well, fuck you. There we go. Yeah. That's our Nordic dagger. Now, for the next, I am going to try to weather it a bit. Now, this process, I'm always kind of nervous about because just made a nice looking blade and uh, worked a lot, a lot of time on it and to make it look good and then you're gonna go over and basically dirty it up so yeah it's kind of a fucked up process but uh, it will look so much better if it's a little bit worn I think and now for the weathering I'm going to be using an oil paint, uh, which is, I think it takes about three days to dry. So it, uh, it's nice uh, to do the weathering with, because then you can just apply it uh, and rub it off, apply it, rub it off, apply it, rub it off. It doesn't look good anyway I say it, so yeah. Uh, so, what are we going to do now? It's clean. Always do this, or else you get a lot of shit everywhere, and that is no good. This is why I'm nervous. But if this doesn't come off, it will look horrible. I've used so much time, but yeah, just trust in the paint, <laughs> it doesn't dry immediately, just rub it off. Now, for, for the blade, uh, I want it to look like it's been uh, in battle. So what I'm gonna do is take a sharp knife. My sharp knife. I'm not gonna do the exacto blade now because this exacto blade is gonna put in. Uh, it's its blade is too, too thin, so it doesn't uh, make a noticeable mark. But yeah, I'm going to just do some creases. This works. That's it. Will look fucking ugly. That's shit. But yeah. There we go. A couple of those on both sides. Now, the weathering stuff I actually learned from uh, watching Tested, if you've uh, seen that channel or some of his movies. Uh, it's Adam Savage from um, Mythbusters, basically just building shit and having fun. 
and it is awesome. And that was the inspiration for making this. This and Col that and Colin first, of course. <laughs> oh my god. Have you seen Colin first's show? That is fucking awesome. So yeah, there we go. A little bit of weathering. A little bit of everything. And that looks pretty fucking awesome. There we go. Yo, and that was that. If you want to make your own, just follow my instructions or don't. Just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Now, on the next video, I'm gonna make a box for it, of course. Now, there we have it, the finished product. Uh, I. Pretty happy with this. Uh, I think uh, if I were going to do it again, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, um, when you do the centerpiece, cut out the centerpiece first before you mark around where the centerpiece is going to cut out of the main blade. So you have something to mark against. So it will become more accurate because that was a pain in the ass. Uh, other things, uh, I'm basically just. Uh, no, I think I'm actually pretty happy with it. I think it's just the centerpiece uh, that I kind of fucked up. So, on the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a box for it. Yeah, so see that. Now, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys. <laughs>